We're only going to need a few things to build this power supply. First we'll need a 12 volt DC power inverter. I got mine from eBay from the link below. Be sure and get one with USB port just to add some extra functionality. I also highly recommend a low voltage buzzer like this one from Hobby King. It'll help you protect your batteries. I'm going to need the battery connector of your choice. I'm using an XT60, some 4mm heat shrink, an X-Acto knife, some solder, preferably rosin core, a decent soldering iron, and a pair of helping hands. I also recommend a cell checker. I'm using a 1.63 cell turnigy battery. First start by unscrewing the screw on the bottom of your inverter case. Afterwards, remove the metal grommet from the end. You should be able to easily separate the two halves now. The red wire with the tip is your positive lead. The black wire going onto the side of what would go into a car cigarette lighter is going to be your negative lead. We need to remove the cigarette lighter adapter. This can easily be done by scoring it with an X-Acto knife and it will simply snap off the inverter. Use an X-Acto knife to clean up the edges a little bit just to ensure your wires don't rub against hard edges. Cut the tip off of the red wire and unsolder the joint going to the ground wire. You'll need to unsolder as this wire is already very short. Pre-tin your wires before attaching your connector. A good tip from the crew at Flight Test is to plug your connectors into each other before soldering. This will ensure that even if your plastic heats up, the metal part of the connectors will not float around while you're soldering. Don't forget to put your heat shrink tube on the wire before soldering. A hot air blower works better for heat shrink, but I never have one around. And if you happen to do like I do and solder on the wrong battery connector, be sure and use some flux before re-soldering. Go ahead and close up your case, ensuring that you're not pinching any wires. Next, mix up some quick set two-part epoxy and use it to attach your connector. Don't worry about filling all, in all the gaps, we'll get that later. Secure it in place with some tape until your epoxy sets. Remove the tape and go back and fill in any large gaps with another round of epoxy. Next I put on a small strip of velcro to hold the battery in place. Do a quick power up and see if you're getting power to your inverter. This probably should have been done before I epoxied it in place, but hindsight's 2020. Just to clear up any confusion, this is a 12 volt power inverter, so you may only use a 3 cell. You may not use any other size of bat. As you can see, it'll easily run a 40 watt glue gun, and what do you know, it's right about 40 watts. Before doing anything very taxing on your battery, be sure and have a LiPo checker or a low voltage buzzer hooked up, as the low voltage cutoff on the inverter will not stop until your battery is well into the red. And just to show the overkill of this system, this is still using a 1.6 amp hour battery. As you can see, it easily runs a glue gun, soldering iron, Charge your cell phone, power a torch lamp, and a video lamp, all while pulling right about 46 watts at 4 amps. This setup would power all of this for a little over 10 minutes. Now all that's left to do, repair your plane, and go for a flight.